Welcome to all students in subject finite element matter. Today we discuss about elastic bar. Elastic bar, comma, spar, link, truss elements. A generally applicable yet similar element is an elastic bar subjected to axial forces only. These element which we simply call a bar element is particularly useful in the analysis of both two and dimensional frame or truss structures. In formulation of the finite element characteristics of an elastic bar element is based on the following assumptions. The bar is geometrically straight. The material obeys Hooke's law. Forces are applied only at the ends of the bar. The bar supports axial loading only. Bending, torsion and shear are not transmitted to the element nature of its connection to the other elements. The last assumption is while quite restrictive is not impractical, these conditions is satisfy if the bar is, cons cor is the corner to the other structure member via points via pins 2D or ball and socket joints 3D. So we discuss about truss element stiffness matrix. Let's obtain an expression for the stiffness matrix K for the beam element. Recall from elementary strength of a material that the deflection del of an elastic bar of length L and uniform cross sectional area A when subject to axial load P. So del is equal to PL upon AE where E capital E is the modulus of elasticity of the material, then the equivalent spring constant K. Therefore, the stiffness matrix is for one element is K is equal to P upon del is equal to AE upon L. So, equivalent K is equal to AE upon L 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 and the equilibrium equation in the matrix form. So, this is the a bar or truss element with coordinate system and nodal displacement notation. So, this is the notation. The length of the bar is ux, we define snow 1 and 2, displacement is equal to u1 is equal to u, u2 is equal to x. We have a field variable like ux which can be expressed in terms of two nodal variables like u1 and u2. So, discretize we assume the existence of interpolation functions n. This is the equation ux is equal to n1 x u1 plus n2 x u2. To determine the interpolation function, we require that the boundary values of ux, the nodal displacement identically satisfy by the discretization such that u in bracket x is equal to 0 that is equal to u1, u in bracket x is equal to l that is equal to u2, n1 0 equal to 1, n2 0 equal to 0, n1 l equal to 0, n2 l is equal to 1. Which must be satisfied by the interpolation function. It is required that the displacement expression. So the equation is n1 x is equal to a0 a1 x, n2 x is equal to b0 plus b1 x. After then applying boundary conditions we get n1 x is equal to 1 minus x by l, n2 x is equal to x by l, u x is equal to 1 minus x upon l into u1 plus x upon l into u2 ux is equal to n1 x n2 x into u1 e2 that is n u this is the equation so del is equal to p l upon a e so k is equal to p upon del that is a e upon l so epsilon in un, so in uni, uniaxial loading as in the bar element we need consider only the normal strain component defined as epsilon x is equal to du by dx epsilon x is equal to u2 minus u1 upon l 
So sigma x equal to e into epsilon x is equal to e into u2 minus u1 upon l. So p is equal to sigma x into a a e upon l u2 minus u1. This is the equation f1 is equal to minus a e upon l u2 minus u1. F2 is equal to a e upon l u2 minus u1. A e upon l 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 u1 u2 is equal to f1 f2 so k equivalent is equal to ae upon l 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 this is the problem this is very easily problem only this problem put this value and we get solutions so this is the very easy problem okay this is the problem so today we discuss about elastic bar, which is the today's topic. Elastic bar, this is elastic bar, what is in my elastic bar, truss element for stiffness matrix. This is the equations. So today we cover all important things of elastic bar. So thanks all of you.